हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू बेयरिंग एंड टाइप्स ऑफ बेयरिंग इफ यू न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल बाई प्रेसिंग द रेड सब्सक्राइब बटन बिलो इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन do check the description below now starting with the video bearing is a machine element which constrains the relative motion between two moving parts and it also reduces friction now bearing is used mainly with shafts now shaft it transfers motion or power from one place to another place and this shaft it has to be mounted on something so as well as it should allow the rotation also so here bearing is used so bearing it serves the purpose dual purpose it allows the motion of the shaft also it supports the weight or the load of the shaft and uh, the friction should also be reduced so bearing it also reduces friction now there are many types of bearing and the major classification is on the basis of direction of acting of the force and on the type of friction now radial bearing that means if the shaft is like this and the force is acting like this that is in the radial direction so we have to use bearing and that is known as radial bearing and the thrust bearing if the direct if the shaft is like this and the direction of force is also like this then we have to use a bearing then that bearing is known as thrust bearing and bearing on the type of friction it is mainly classified on sliding contact bearing and rolling contact bearing now sliding contact bearing it is also known as journal journal bearing now journal term it refers to the portion of the shaft which is inside the bearing now sliding contact bearing it works by the principle of hydrodynamic lubrication if you don't know what is hydrodynamic lubrication you can search videos many videos are there on the youtube so one is sliding contact bearing other is rolling contact bearing sliding contact bearing the contact area between the bearing and the shaft is much more and the load taken by the and the load taken by the bearing it is because of the film lubricant film which is produced between the bearing and the shaft due to hydrodynamic lubrication now again you can search what is hydrodynamic lubrication and what is journal bearing especially all right so and the second is rolling contact bearing a rolling contact bearing it is also known as anti friction bearing so this is very important question objective question that can come in any exam so rolling contact bearing it supports the load by at point load rolling contact bearing just by rolling there is no lubricant friction here and the further classification of rolling contact bearing is five types main is deep groove ball bearing that is most common cylindrical roller angular contact taper roller self aligning so the main and the major important one is deep groove ball bearing that is the most general and deep groove ball bearing you can understand that there are very fine balls small balls that is actually spheres the shape is actually sphere and these are placed between two grooves and uh, the shaft it passes between that groove and when the shaft rotates these ball bearing also rotate with the shaft and uh, serves the purpose now bearing life now bearing life means that for how much time the bearing can work successfully without failure now it is in million of revolution that is because the shaft rotates so bearing also rotate so for how many million time when the bearing has rotated it fails that is known as bearing life so bearing life in million revolution is equal to c by p to the power n where c is the dynamic load capacity and p is the equivalent dynamic load acting on the bearing or the weight that is supported by the bearing 
so n is equal to 3 for ball bearing and n is equal to 10 by 3 for roller bearing and we can calculate life in hours equal to life in million revolution into 10 to the power 6 upon 60 into rpm that is rotation of the shaft so i hope you have understood what is bearing and the classification of bearing and the bearing life how you can calculate so i hope you have understood everything and you have found this video helpful please share this video please press the subscribe button and please press the like button till next time take care Bye.